Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of TRB Collectibles. My name's Tom and I will be your guide through this community yard sale. Now I came across these hardcover books at the first sale. Hardcover books can do well depending on the author and the edition. In this case, it really wasn't worth it. Based on what they were charging per book, I would have had to lock them up and I wouldn't even have had that much of a profit, so I did leave them behind. Look, an entire table of video games! All the profit is right here! Well, be careful. When I first started reselling and I watched online, everybody was like, video games can make you a lot of money. And you might not necessarily do the work because in that case, I used to just make offers without actually looking and wind up with so many duds that I'd almost break even. I now take the time to look through piles like this. Rather than winding up with things I can't sell, I will cherry pick it. And in this case, I'm glad that I did. The majority of these were sports titles and games like Call of Duty that were overproduced, that don't hold a second market value. They wanted $2 a piece per game, and even at that price point, I would have lost money per piece if I was to sell it online. Even lotting it up might not even make my money back. I went ahead and passed on every single one of those games because it just wasn't worth it. Be careful out there. The reason I left this portion in, I thought it was really cool. All these plants that makes it look as though it's a Home Depot or a Lowe's. Well, this homeowner actually grows those plants from seeds, and whenever their community has this sale, they sell their plants. How neat is that? And how are you doing today? Good, and yourself? Good. Okay. Hey, how you doing? I am. I am. I have very good ears. I'm sorry? I have very good ears. Yeah, why are you taking a video? Uh, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, great. Sell all of it on YouTube. Pick that truck and you can have it all for one price. <laughs> <laughs> How's your day going? How's your sale going? It's just going. Yeah. It's a nice day. It's not too hot. We live in a park where people are over 55. They've already got all this stuff. <laughs> True, and they probably brought it from somewhere else, thinking, I'm going to need this Tonka truck. Yes, that's right. That's not the first time that somebody's asked me why I filmed at a yard sale or an estate sale, and I'm always open and honest about it. You never know. People are usually intrigued by it, want to know more, so I share hey, what doing? my YouTube's Great all about. Meal. Good, thank you. winds up talking about my eBay reselling Lots business. of treasures. Then right? they start pulling stuff out of their house that's not even in their yard hey, sale, and say, uh, hey, are you interested in this or that? I'm looking forward to the day that I make contact that could potentially give me even more inventory than I needed. So, always start the conversation. It doesn't hurt. Have you ever heard the term everything but the kitchen sink? Well, they even had the kitchen sink at this yard sale. Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you doing? Not too bad. All those are $5 or all of them for $20. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now the theme of this yard sale was Christmas and Disney. Disney, like Coca-Cola, puts out a lot of licensed merchandise. But not everything with the Disney branded logo on it is worth resale value. It does have a value to a lot of people, but maybe not in the secondary market. So you're really looking for that rare stuff that wasn't overproduced. If anybody tries to sell you Disney Diamond VHS tapes for more than $3, please don't buy it. It's not worth it. It's just hype, I promise. But I looked at these license plates. I've seen them in the past. Some of them are worth it, some of them are not. The majority of them are themed to the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida, and its four theme parks. Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney's Hollywood Studios, and Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now, a lot of them were also new sealed. They were $10 a piece, and some of them were quite old, like Disney MGM Studios, before it was renamed to Disney's Hollywood Studios. They weren't budging. I tried to offer one price for all of them, but they wanted $10 a piece per license plate, 
which meant I couldn't make a profit, so I did have to leave them behind. But always take a look at all the Disney collectibles because you never know what you might find and you might find that one off that's really worth it. Now hats are a good category to resell. Just always check the quality before you buy it and try to check comps to see if you have good ones. The only thing I'm gonna mention to you if you really don't have the space for it, hats do take a little bit of time to sell, but they'll go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to click that like button. And if you have some extra time, check out some of these other episodes. Thanks!